Hey everyone, welcome to another unboxing video. As always, my name is Jay, and today I will be unboxing for you one of the actually really cool, interesting new kits for the new Tyranny Codex, the Hyrospex Exocrine kit. Um, this is actually one of the few models that has been a really big, uh, cool addition to the Codex. Um, especially the Exocrine, who has a giant, you know, six-shot plasma cannon or large blast. It only has uh, ballistic skill three, so um, it's not the greatest on the battlefield, but it should be okay. Cool model, and uh, yeah, let's unbox it. So for starters, we'll start off with the nice box art here. Ooh, pretty box art. Hold that there, and I'll just show it here. As you can see, nice looking box, nice cool looking kit. I think it's cool, like all the tendrils. I do agree with Matt. Matt thinks it looks a little um, nurgly, but uh, it's kind of a combination to me of nurgle and uh, Tyranids, and here's the back right here, as you can see, awesome stuff there. But obviously, as with all things, it's what's on the inside that counts, not the outside, so let's unbox this thing and see what's inside. Alright, so there are three sprues. One. Two. Sorry, two sprues. Uh, why am I counting three sprues? Two sprues. And a base, large oval base, and of course the instruction booklet. You know, I really love these plastic kits. Uh, they have great instructions, and uh, here's a little instruction booklet right here for you. As you can see, all the things to build, either the Hero Specs, which is I think just a single build, or the Exocrine, which is also just a single build. So I think you can give them maybe different tails or something, but there's not anything too, um, too different. So I think it's just a single different build for each one. Cool stuff. And uh, you just choose the beginning which one you want. I think you could possibly magnetize this kit. I just wouldn't because there's a lot of things to magnetize. I think I'm just going to go with the Exocrine myself. Because the Exocrine is, I think, a little bit better than the um, Aerospex. But uh, we'll start off with the first sprue right here. As you can see, there, this is the body. So the upper parts of the body, the chest. Um, and then all the tendril pieces. Here are the... Um, the side claws for the hero specs and all the tendrils and everything looks really cool stuff. Really, you know, kind of gross and gangly. It's uh, very consumering, so it's cool. So we'll go here. And I zoomed in. So uh, the body pieces here, all these parts, upper body, uh, the top of the body, sorry. And on the other side, we have all of the uh, tendril parts that make his mouthpiece for the hero specs. Here is one of the claws for the hero specs. And uh, yeah, cool stuff. And there's more feeder tendril stuff. So this is basically the hero specs' body parts, as you can see. All hero specs stuff. And here's the other piece, the, the like side crushing claw for the hero specs. So very cool stuff, very detailed. I like the look of it. Um, like I said, I'm probably gonna go with the Exocrine myself, but uh, that doesn't stop me from uh, just admiring the coolness of the hero specs. And, yep, and this next part is, did I see the gun there? Oh, I min did miss the gun, so I'm just going back just a little bit. And I also missed um, the gun. Here is the gun right here, here, and one piece is here, and one piece is up here. So right there, as you can see. Got all nice and pretty. And then this one as well. Right down there. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. I'm just going to make sure this is in focus. I think it is. Yeah. So, as I said, the gun parts as well for the, uh, the exocrine as well. But, uh, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, then up next we have the second sprue, obviously, because there's only two sprues. Uh, this one has the tail pieces up here and here, the heads. Um, I really like the, the one facing head. I just like the head for the, uh, the exocrine. Looks like it's smiling kind of thing. Um, and then the Herospex head, the top, the vents, and just the arms and legs. So again, this doesn't look like a very complicated kit. It looks like it'll go together really nicely, really simply. Um, Maybe I might do a putting together of the exocrine, we'll see. Depends if I have time. 
Uh, in case you're wondering, this was brought up in my previous unboxing. I'm probably not going to show myself painting, maybe unless it's a vlog. I probably won't do a painting uh, tutorial on these models because I'm going to be painting them up my normal style, my ice nid style. And um, I've already done two tutorials on it, so I don't know if I'll show another tutorial on it, but that's cool stuff. So here's the up close, as you can see, all that. So here are the leg pieces. So the bits of the legs are here, both legs. The arms, they go under the body, here and here and there. Um, over here we have another set of the crushing claws for the harrow specs and uh, the tails. So the two has the tail, the heads. I really wanted to show you the head. So uh, it's right here for the, um, for the exocrit and the harrow specs head is right there. You can see with all the tendrils and stuff coming from it, but uh, it's pretty cool. Let's see if I can just bring it in close. And as you can see there, the heads, they look awesome. Very cool stuff. So it's a pretty simple kit, as I said, and then the other half of the heads are right down there. So all the tendrils, and you can see the other extra head, which looks like it's smiling. So not a lot of uh, stuff, but it looks like it'll be a really nice kit to put together. Um, a lot. It's, I think it's going to go together really easily, and of course the large base to put it on top because it's a large oval base. It's a monster creature, so it's cool. So here's the new monster creature for the new Tyranid Arm uh, Codex. In the end, I like the Exocrit. I'll probably be running, as I said, that more commonly than the Hero Specs, but we'll see. Uh, I do find now that the heavy support choice is much more bloated than it used to be, and the Elite slot is not at all. But uh, cool stuff. So I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Please stay tuned for more unboxings. We're on, the next one I'm going to tackle the new Flying Monsters Creature Kit for the new Tim and Codex, the High Prone and Harpy Kit. So please like the video, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to my channel if you already have done so. It really does help a lot. Stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, this is Jay saying happy painting, everyone.